Me like a feather. What is it? You fit every stereotype, send a pic. All right. Oh, hello there. My name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. We're gonna talk about some more drama. Today, we are going to talk about one of my new favorite artists, Sabrina Carpenter. I love her. She is beautiful. Funny I have Barbie behind me because people have called her Barbie because have you seen her on stage? Yes. So Sabrina Carpenter, she, one of my favorite songs by her is Nonsense of course because that's like her big song I guess and now she has a new song called Feather that she just made a music video for that is causing some controversy. All right so so we're gonna talk about her music video, her new music video, and how much I love it. I'm not gonna like, I'll put like posts in here, but I'm not gonna play the song for you because I don't wanna get copyrighted. This is a new channel, I don't need that in my life. But her video is amazing, so basically, her, her whole song is about, I feel so much lighter like a feather with you out my mm -hmm. <laughs> And so she's saying like she feels lighter than a feather with this, you know, person out of her life. And so the whole video is about all of these guys that are like hitting on her in like crazy ways or doing something that's like, you know, not great to her by like happenstance they end up like dying. And it's wild. And it is one of the best music videos I've seen in a really long time. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I watched this music video and I was like, what? I was like, I love this. Genius, it's genius. One, I think the first one is like they get hit by a bus. The second one, all of these guys just like get in a fight and end up just like killing each other, like killing each other in a fight. And then she walks over the bodies and it's just like walking past. Oh, did that happen because of me? Oh my gosh. And it's amazing. It is the one, it's like one of the most amazing things I think I've ever seen in my whole entire Oh my god, the last one is by far the best one though. The last instance of someone dying in her music video. And so this guy, they're in an elevator, and this guy is like taking a picture like up her skirt, which is wild. When I first saw this, I was like, what is happening? And then she turns around, like takes his tie, like she's like, you know, flirting with him, but she's actually... <laughs> stuck in the door no I'm watching this right the first time I watched this and I'm like there's no way they're gonna like show him dying there's no way that's crazy no literally like they show him going up and then the next thing you see is like blood coming down the elevator <gasps> oh my god it is one of the best music videos like ever I'm not even gonna lie I love it so much and so she literally and then she's like she's like outside of the elevator with blood all over her and she's just like you know, singing her song. Fit every stereotype, send a pic. And I'm just like, this is genius. This is genius. It's like blood and gory, but funny. And it's amazing. And it's just everything I love. That's not even the end of it. After all this happens, you know, there's just one part of the song where she's like, that though with you at my... And then eventually she's like, Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And she does this like as one of the guys is dying. It's so funny, like perfect. But basically the whole part is like, you know, she's, she feels better without them, with, with them out of her life. And they're out of her life because they're dead. And so a part of the music video is actually in a church where there are all these, it's like a funeral for all of these guys. And she's wearing like a black tutu dress, which is stunning. It's everything I love and more. So she's dancing around happy that all these people are dead in the church. Like, yes, this is great. And 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 you know, at the end of the at the end of the she gets in a hearse. I think it's like a pink hearse. She gets into the hearse and just drives off and she's so happy. And it's a great music video and I love it. Now, why has this caused drama? You may ask. So apparently where this was filmed was in a Catholic church and they had to get permission, you know, to film there. And so the priest of that church gave her and her team permission to film there. 
Also, this video came out on Halloween, which is like perfect. But this was filmed at Our Lady of Mount Carmel and Annunciation Parish. But the priest who signed off on this actually ended up getting fired because he let her film there. So after the Diocese of Brooklyn said he was appalled with the violent and sexually provocative music video that they were able to shoot inside of the their church. Apparently, the diocese said that the parish did not follow policy regarding the filming on church property, which includes a review of the scenes and the script. And that is why that priest got fired because, because he let them film there without really kind of checking it or anything. It's not funny when people get fired. It's not funny. I guess it's just funny to me because like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Come on, the Bible's very violent. I don't understand why there's some like, oh, it's so violent. Yeah, so was the Bible. Yet yeah, that's why you're there, isn't it? But to make it even spicier, the priest that actually said yes to this and confirmed this and let them film there also came out with a statement on like how he let it happen or why it happened. And this is what he said on Facebook. Undoubtedly, many are upset over what has transpired, no more than myself. On October 31st, 2023, recording artist Sabrina Carpenter released a provocative music video, which was filmed inside Annunciation of Blessed of the Virgin Mary Church. I don't even know what I'm saying. I offer my sincere apologies to the bishop, the diocese, my faithful parishioners, and all of you for this shameful representation which I wholeheartedly renounce. I ask that following this very example of Christ's forgiveness, you may find it possible to forgive my oversight in this unfortunate manner. Bro, they fired you. <laughs> I don't know if this was before or after he got fired, but it's like, dude, they fired you. Why are you like, I hope you can forgive me still. Like, what? But he did say that they misled him and that's why he let them do it. That they misled him about what the music video was going to be about. And so he said yes without like knowing, I guess, for sure what it was going to be in it because he wanted to strengthen the binds of like local artists and his church, which Again, who knows if that's true or not. I'm not sure if this is like a he said, she said kind of situation. And at that point, Sabrina Carpenter hadn't said anything. She hadn't like talked about it or really came out about it until the other day. And this is what she said back, which I think is genius. First, she said that she got approval in advance, which like is really funny because that. It's kind of what the guy said. Not really saying like what exactly happened, but she was like, we got approval in advance and Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> this is the funniest part of the whole thing <laughs> because her last name is Carpenter. And so her fans are called Carpenters. <laughs> so stupid, but it's so funny because Jesus was actually a carpenter. In Mark 6, 3, the Bible says that is not the, it, the Bible says, it feels weird coming out of my mouth. Um, sorry. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? What the hell? What does that even mean? That means Jesus in the Bible. When they say that, that means Jesus was a carpenter. Did you know that? But I think that's like one of the funniest responses ever to this. I was actually wondering how she was going to respond to this since that guy got fired. And I feel bad that he got fired. I think it's just like ridiculously funny how she does not care. And she just does what she wants. And she's just so like awesome. Well, all right, that was my rant on Sabrina Carpenter. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be wonderful because I'm a new channel and I would love your support. Some more videos about internet drama are gonna be coming soon, so please stay tuned. So yes, you should subscribe and turn on notifications and all the things. And let me know what you think about Sabrina Carpenter and all of this below. See you next time.